Hello everyone. In today's video I will review the best Scott Patron Airide 900 tuned review, an all-day trail charging electric bike that can handle plenty of abuse, a cool bike that offers a fun ride, good tech and plenty of range. The new electric mountain bike from Scott is claimed to be the ultimate all-day electric mountain bike, with plenty of components integrated into the frame and 29 in wheels. It's between Scott's trail-oriented Genius Airide and its aggro, long-travel Ransom Airide. Scott Patron Airide 900 tuned frame and suspension. Rear suspension duty are handled by the Fox new T Airide EVOL shock. Steve Bayer, our media, the patron striking. Angular look is influenced by its high level of integration. One of Frame's distinguishing features is the internal shock that is designed to give the best aerodynamics for better performance and reduce side loading. The structure surrounding the shock pad makes the shock pad stiffer and stronger, and it is strengthened by the ability to use larger bearings at the seat tube. The shock absorption level is accessed by opening a tool-free hatch. It allows you to adjust the rebound compression, and air pressure, and you can also replace the twin lock cable. While the linkage is hidden, the patron uses a 160 mm suspension system that offers the part of suspension that makes Scott's twin lock possible. He is able to lock out the fork and the shock from the handlebar. We don't just firm up the suspension, we change the spring curve and we also change the frame geometry. This helps us climb better. The main frame is made of high strength carbon fiber and it's also made of aluminium for the chainstay. Bosch's Performance CX Gen 4 motor is nested in the carbon fiber front triangle. Steve Bayer, our media. Scott is using the Bosch Gen 4 E mountain motor that is housed inside the front triangle of his bike. This prevents the motor from being damaged from impacts and has a large 750 W power pack in the down tube. The battery can be removed without removing the protective cover through a tool-free opening. Cables run inside the device and enter through one-piece sinks. The high-capacity 750 WH battery is housed in the down tube. Steve Bayer, our media. Scott didn't want to look like a truck. He wanted to keep the cables out of sight for a sleek look and he also wanted to add an integrated light to the back fender of his motorcycle to make sure that the phone will always be fully charged. The accessory is powered by the main battery, so you won't have to worry about charging it. Scott Patron Airide 900 tune geometry. There's a Fox transfer dropper post beneath the Synchro Stefino saddle. Steve Bayer, our media. The bicycle designed by Andy at the time has a 65 degree head angle and a 76 degree effective seat tube angle. The reach is about 445 millimeters and the stack height is over 450 millimeters. That bike has a top tube of 595 millimeters. That means that you can stand up upright while riding the bike on long seated periods by extending your legs. The seat tube is 440.5 millimeters long and the chain stays are 454 millimeters long. The bottom bracket is at a reasonably low 347 millimeters. This bike is built with long distance riding in mind, in particular long seated ones. Scott Patron Airide 900 tuned specifications. The Fox 38 Factory FIT4 fork has a three-position compression damping lever. Steve Bayer, our media. This bike is the top-spec model in the Scott's range of bikes. Scott fitted this fork because the Fit4 damper is available as an aftermarket option. It is equipped with Scott's handlebar twin-lock lever that has three operating modes, open, medium, and firm. There is also a 22-click low-speed compression dial with two settings, one for open mode, another one for firm mode. And there is also an external low-speed rebound adjuster. A custom Fox new TRI DVOL shock takes care of the rear suspension. This, again, is built for Scott. It has three compression modes labeled open, traction, and lockout. In the open mode, you get the full 160 millimeters of travel. In traction, this is limited to 115 millimeters, and lockout does exactly what it says. The drivetrain comes from SRAM's Eagle stable. The drivetrain has SRAM Eagle components. That means it uses a mid-range shifter and a cassette. It is cheaper than components. Four pot Shimano Dior XT brakes with 203 mm rotors provide the stopping power. Synchro's Revostoke E1.5 CL wheels are fitted with 2 9 times 2, 6 and Maxi's Dissector 3 degrees Celsius Max Terra EXO Plus tires. These tires are perhaps conservative in tread profile considering how much travel this bike has. The inits from Scott owns Synchro's with the bar and stem, as well as a Tofino saddle. On the big and extra big bikes, there's a 50 mm effective stem 
M length. On the small and medium bikes, it's 40 millimeters. The Scott Patron Elite XE 24.37 is a bike with 23.7 kilos of weight and 26 centimeters of wheel sizes. It weighs 29.3 kilos without pedals and is a size of medium. Scott Patron Air Ride 900 tuned ride impressions. At the beginning of August 2017, I rode the Scott Patterson E Rider 900 from the Forest of Dean to Swansea in South Wales. I used the best trails and roads. Scott Patron Air Ride 900 tuned climbing performance. Performance. Scott Patron Air Ride 900 tuned climbing performance. The Scott is a bike that is very comfortable. Thanks to its relaxed, non stretch position, it is easy to shift your weight subtly and keep balance. The front wheel doesn't move quickly. As the tires of the Maxi's dissector tires went slower, they had poor grip when the trails were wet. They didn't have enough bite on slippery surfaces. The Bosch LED remote control took some adjusting to. Steve Bayer, our media. Scott's twin lock was helpful to me because I could use it to keep the bottom bracket higher and the seat tube, head tube angle steeper. I never had big issues with catching the pedals and chunky terrains while climbing. And I also had great efficiency in climbing when it was really rocky and steep. And it was thanks to the 165 centimeters cranks and low, but not slammed, 34 millimeters bottom bracket height. Scott Patron Air Ride 900 tuned descending performance. This bike was the lightest on the market and had a fun, engaging ride in a lot of terrain. It was stable in a technical area. The bike wasn't a difficult one to ride. The geometry was comfortable, but it might become too nervous for a novice. The bar and stem are integrated smoothly, but it makes setup adjustment difficult. Steve Bayer, our media. I wasn't a big fan of the integrated bar and stem, reducing options for setting bar height and roll. I'm fine with the design, so I don't want it changed. How does the Scott Patron Air Ride 900 tune compare to the Focus JAM 27.0? The JAM 27.0 is a bike that is a good option for a mid-travel electric mountain bike with great handling. The Focus has a super large battery and has an incredible travel. Pros, shock integration, twin lock is useful, surprisingly agile and engaging ride character, good suspension. Cons, tires out of their depth in slippery conditions. Synchro's integrated handlebar not to all tastes.